Why, hello, hello, friends. Look, we have awesome lighting now. I'm so excited. We are back at home. I can get started on making more and more videos. So, woo, yeah, awesome. All right, today we are gonna cover arrays. Now, what are arrays? Well, arrays are basically variables that you can store multiple values inside of them. I don't know why I'm wearing headphones because I don't need them. So <laughs> let me take them off. Good. So let's get started here in our app.js. Uh, you know that we can create a variable by writing const and give it a name, like name, what we did so far is equal to, let's say, L. All right, so this is the basics of variables that we covered. All right, how do we create an array? Well, to create an array, since we're storing multiple values, it's recommended to give it a name that's plural, okay? So let's say, let's say we're making a an app that look at that looks at your schedule english is very hard today all right so it looks at your schedule and you have things planned for that day so we're going to create a schedule here all right and we're going to set that equal to and what we're going to do is we are going to put some square brackets okay and this basically uh, says to javascript that hey we want to create an array all right so what can we store in this array well, we can store everything that we previously learned in, in the videos so far. So like strings, we can store numbers, we can store booleans, and even objects, which we didn't cover, but we're going to get to it. And yeah, we can even store that. So let how do we do it? Well, we do the brackets, and here we can, let's just do strings. So my schedule for today, let's say it's uh, wake up, like so, and when you wanna add another value, all you have to do is add a comma. And then you can just add another string, like normal, wake up, eat, film a video, and then watch things on Netflix. Netflix, just like so. And we close it, and boom, you created your first vari variable. Nice, all right. So. I know when I learned JavaScript, it was kind of hard to figure out, hey, why do I even need this thing? Why do I need this variable, uh, th this array, or even a variable? Why do I need these things? Well, you can imagine them uh, like this. So again, if maybe I wanna store um, things I wanna do for the day, like we did schedule, because what we wanna do eventually is take this information and output it on the screen. So we can do something like this. So we can have the schedule and we can have a lot of strings in here uh, that represent, uh, yeah, what we're gonna do for the day. You can also store other things like numbers. So here we can create something like uh, phone numbers or something, set it equal to, and we can do, I, I, I don't know what, right correct phone numbers but here we go that's an example right there so you can store these and what eventually you want to do is let's take this schedule example back and let's say we want to add values to this or how do we access things from this so we're going to add our console lock here so we can display something uh in our console and let me open up this real quick because i forgot <laughs> there we go i'm going to drag it right here so we can see press F12 and get a bunch of errors, but that's cool. We don't need that. Clear. And let me zoom in here so we can see everything nicely. Okay, good. So right now, if we console log schedule, and there we go. So as you can see, we have our array. So we get all the values. Now, what if we want to access each individual value? How, how do I access uh, these? Well, Arrays are indexed from zero all the way to whatever, how many items you have. So the index is basically represents the number of the, uh, of the value that you have here. So the thing is though, that in arrays, they start from zero. So index of zero of this array is wake up. This is one, this is two, this is three. So basically you count from zero. I know, why? Who knows? <laughs> so that's a bit tricky to get used to, but that's all you have to remember. You count from zero. So if I wanna access the first item, all you have to do is basically write schedule, add the brackets, okay? And this is the way you can, um, you can, 
look up the index of a specific item in here. So what you're writing here is basically the number of the value that it represents. So if I write zero, that's gonna access this one, so the first one. So if we copy and paste it in here, we are gonna get wake up in here. So eat will, would be one, like so. And what would be watch things on Netflix? Well, that would be one, uh, zero, <laughs> I did it. Zero, one, two, three. So that would be the third one. So if we write three here, that's gonna get us watch things on Netflix. Good, so we learned how to access things, awesome. How do we add things? Maybe I wanna add more things to my schedule in my app. So maybe I wanna add more things. So how do I add more things? More things, more things, more things. Okay, so the way we do that is we write schedule. And you know how uh, we talked about functions? Uh, there's a method on on the array that we can call. And basically what a method is, uh, we're gonna look more in depth when we talk about uh, objects, but you can imagine that JavaScript comes with uh, pre-built functions that we can use on things like strings. So the way we had the two uppercase on the string. So that's like a built-in function or method uh, that we can use. Well, uh, arrays also come with a lot of built-in functions that we can use. So things like to uh, to add an element to an array, uh, to remove an element, to access a specific index. So I'm gonna show you all the basic methods that we can use uh, on arrays. So we can use something called push. So the way we access it is we write schedule dot and push. So what push allows us to do is just add another element to the end of this array, all right? So the way we do that is we just add a string here and we say, hey, a new thing got added. And if we save this and we console log the schedule again, so the whole array, we are gonna get, let's take a look, look, hey, a new thing got added. So this is a way we can add more things. So maybe you can have an input on your page boom, you can push a new value. You can get the value from the input and you can add more things to it. So that's one thing we can do. We can also remove the last value. So to do that, all we have to do is not write push, we can write pop, okay? We can pop and here we don't need to add anything because we're removing, okay? We don't need to specify a parameter here, so a value. So we can delete this and we can just write pop. So we just call this like so, and then the last value is gonna be removed. So the watch things on Netflix. There's also a thing called uh, shift and unshift, which, uh, okay, I don't really use them. You rarely are gonna remove things from the beginning of the array, but I'm gonna show you. So all you have to do is write shift, and then you can add, hey, beginning. So you can add things to the beginning like so. And if we, huh, okay. I apologize. So these are the opposite, actually. So shift is going to remove uh, the the first one. So as you can see, we have eat right now. So wake up got removed and unshift is going to add uh, a new one at the beginning. I always confuse these two. See a new one because I rarely use them. But hey, <laughs> uh, the pushing and popping is going to be used a lot of times. Shift, unshift, eh, not so much. Uh, but hey, here they are. So if you need them, there you go. Uh, another thing we can do is you can access also, let's say you want to access this by its index. So, so what I mean by that is you can return the number based on what you have here. So to do that, we can do schedule, schedule dot index of, and then you can write eat. And what this is gonna return you, if I copy paste it in here, like so, let me delete that, is you're gonna get the number, the index number of the string that you have in here. So what it's gonna do is basically, you write schedule dot index of, and it's gonna look for eat. So it's gonna be like, hey, is eat here? Nope. Is it here? Yes, it's here, awesome. Here is the index number of it, one. So what you can do is, hey, you can actually, this is used quite often, so you can store this if you want. So 
we can make another variable if we want and we can do something const dot uh let's name this let's write the film here so maybe we, we, we want to get this one so we can set that equal to schedule dot index of film a video and that's going to return us the number so if we console log this film so the variable so we can store this whole value in here and we can get two right so you can even do something like schedule now film right because this is the number all right we're just storing the number of this in here so if we say console log now and we say schedule film then we are gonna get film a video. But yeah, those are pretty much the basics of arrays. We are gonna cover the new ways of doing things with looping and objects in the next videos. So thank you again so much for watching. I apologize if the setup is a bit different now, but hey, I love it because I have a lot of light coming in on my face. So that's awesome. <laughs> oh God. All right, thank you again so much. Drop a subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.